So who we calling today? I, I had the slightest idea who we calling, but I let you guys know in my in in my videos who you guys want me to call. Leave your suggestions in the DM, the Gmail, or the comments below. Also, let me know who you want me or, or let me know what y'all want me to ask you know what i'm saying if y'all have any questions that you want me to ask them leave that in the comments below as well as all the other platforms that i just mentioned so right now we're up here in needle need nedville nedville township outside of any gate allegheny pa just outside of pittsburgh and today we got a suggestion from I gotta go to my I, I gotta go to my DM because this one came via Instagram. And let's see, let's see, hold on. Uh, we gotta go to the okay, we gotta go back, shoot, and booyah. All right. This suggestion comes from Lamarck J64. He wants us to call a and n rubber ink he says in this comment that he says in this comment what's up my brother glad to see you back in the saddle again you're instrumental with your channel in this industry and i thank you for that with that said i came upon a company called a and n weber inc could you please make the call for me it's greatly appreciated. Be for real. And thank you. Well, Lamar or Lamarck, you got your you you got your service today, brother man. So get that coffee ready and get ready to check it out. Now to let you guys know the big thing that's going on with the channel is now that my call content and probably all my other content in the future will be simulcast on youtube and anchor podcast you can look for the podcast at anchor.fm backslash lockout men so if you're driving or something like that and you can't watch the video boom turn on the podcast and you can go ahead and listen so go on over there and check that out too man all right so a and n weber i haven't heard of them i i really haven't a, a lot of these companies that you guys get me to call thank you because i haven't heard of these companies myself man so of course booyah i went to the went to the notebook and i did some research so a and m weber family company since 1947 they offer logistics and warehousing they located in kankakee illinois just outside of chicago they have terminal uh, they have terminals in tennessee texas and south carolina they have about four divisions they got flatbed heavy haul step deck reefer and something else that i can't even read my own handwriting damn it the equipment are all late model peaks now i'm not sure whether they automatics or or manuals i'm probably going to lean towards the manual side but i'll find out when i call them um let's see they got drop drop frame vans and drop deck vans vans mean dry vans they also go up into canada so that's another thing I probably might ask them about Canada. I'll ask them about that. They serve, they service as automotive, chemical, appliances, manufacturing, steel, food, and paper. I hate paper loads, I really do. So with that little bit of research out the way, let's go ahead and get A and N Weber on the phone. But before we do that, like I said before, I want to say thank you to everybody that supports the channel, um, especially going into the new year because I will be podcasting simultaneously now. And um, 
And yeah, hook a brother up with some coffee sometime. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this channel for you guys. Yes, you. So let's get into the call and see what A and N Weber is all about. What's up, guys? Lockout men here in the truck. About to make another call for you guys. Welcome to Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, sir. How's it going? Now, as you guys seen in the intro, you already have a good idea on who I'm about to call next. So, of course, I get this, uh, I get this DM, and uh, I happen to look up. And I, I see in my DM and I go, huh, I wonder, I wonder who's this guy right here that wants to know about A&N Weber, Inc. My man, Lamarck, Lamarck J64. Thanks for the suggestion, bro. I really do appreciate it. So we already went over the cliff notes because, you know, I had to write everything down. And... Um, and uh, now we about to talk a little bit about A and N Weber. So we're gonna shoot over to the website right quick. So A N Weber, you know, the company is a North America transportation company, logistics warehousing. They're located out of Kankakee, Illinois, it's about 60 miles south of uh, Chicago. Uh, they've been in business since uh, 1947. Let's see what they have to offer for their drivers. All right. I had to find what I was looking for, and I actually found it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, A and N Weber Inc. Let's see what they have to offer. Now, as far as what they got to offer, they have mileage and percentage pay. They have vacation, birthday, and holiday pay. I'm going to have to ask about that birthday. Blue Cross Blue Shield medical insurance. Life insurance vision plan available. Dental insurance available. Profit sharing retirement program 401k. Home frequently. Now let's see how often or how, how often that we are home. Steady work and never a layoff. We'll consider training tuition reimbursement. Run 48 states in Canada or just a few states. Your choice. Your choice. Drop, pick up, layover, breakdown, switch up, regional, and unload pay available. Immediate family can ride along with permission. Weber reimbursed for scales, weight, and even has a card for even have a card that can be used instead of cash at most cat scales new scale new scale available at Kankakee transport I mean uh, terminal now they pay they start off they base pay is 47 cents CPM OTR and 49 cents CPM regional they got a brochure right here when you guys click on it and this is a good thing. I, I think this is a good thing right here. Military veterans can provide, if you can provide a DD-214 confirming an honorable discharge, come on board and we will train you. We will even start you at experience pay rate. Download the brochure. So these guys sounding good so far, right? Right? A&M Weber? All right. Let's, uh, you know what? You know what? I, I don't even think I have to, I have to go to the, uh, the safety website because so far I am digging this company just by from what I'm researching so far. So you guys ready? You guys ready? Let's get into the call. Hello. How you doing this evening? Doing okay. What can I help you with? Uh, yes, I would like to talk to a, 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 a recruiter. Okay, I'll it. Thank you.
Hi, you've reached Bill with A.M. Weber. Please leave your name and number, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Let's, uh, let's try them again. Here we go. Uh, yes, um, I believe you transferred me over to a, a recorder, but nobody answered the phone. Okay, uh, I can try again. Uh, one moment. Uh, can, I, can I ask a question? Is there more than one recruiter? Uh, okay. I guess Bill. <laughs> I guess Bill with uh, A&M Weber is the, the one that we need to talk to, but unfortunately, nobody's answering the phone at this time. So I'm going to try and reach out to her one more time. I mean, I don't want to sound, you know, I don't want to be a bother, I guess. Am I? Am I a bother? I mean, let me know if I am a bother to you, you know, to see if I can call and find out what the company is all about. That's all. That's all. Just give me that chance. And that's Bill. And he's, he's, his calls when he's not in the office are transferred to his cell phone. If he's not picking up, it could be because he's driving. Oh, okay. So leave him, yeah. So leave a message and he'll call you back when you stop. Well, can I can I ask a question? If it is okay, I I just want to know a little bit about the company, so I could just talk to any recruiter. That's fine. Okay. Well, he is the recruiter. What? Yeah, but you said that was you said he was out of camp. There's recruiters for the other terminals. Right, that's what I'm saying. I I don't mind talking to uh to the recruiters at at another terminal. That's that's fine. I'm I'm just doing my research. I just you know I see the company and I'm kind of interested in it, but I would like to you know talk to somebody about it. It doesn't necessarily okay. has to be him. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I I, mean, I could give you the number. No- I I tell you what. I tell you what. If if I like what they tell me then i would i will call him back and then talk it up with him how's that is that is that fair okay. i mean i i can give you the number for one of the other terminals i i don't know how much i mean generally they like to keep to their own terminals but i'll go ahead and give you the number for the uh i give you the the pleasant view terminal you can talk to trish she's really nice all right guys so at this point right here I had a hard time getting in contact with the one recruiter in the Kankakee terminal. So from what she has said, there's there's three terminals, okay, or four terminals. The main terminal, which is in Kankakee, Illinois. The other terminal is in Tennessee, Texas, and South Carolina. So each one of those terminals have recruiters for each divisions i i guess all right so for the midwest region which where i'm located at it is mr bill i believe uh, i guess that's his name for the southeast region uh which is out of tennessee it is the young lady that I'm about to talk to in a few minutes. So they have each individual uh, recruiters for each individual region. So uh, my thing at that point was I just wanted to talk with somebody just to get a general idea of of the company, how it is, how it you know what how it works, and so forth and so on. So I didn't necessarily had to just talk to Bill, but I just told her that, hey, if I like what I hear, then I will call him back and then I will talk to him about uh, about the region where I'm from. Let's get back into the video. Okay, what's the number there? It's 877. 877-932-932-2371. Two, three, seven, one. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll give her a call right now. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, well, this is Trish 
How can I help you? Hey, Trish. How you doing this evening? I am hanging in there. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I was... How can I help you? Yeah, I, I was trying to uh, talk to someone out of the Kankakee uh, terminal. I'm, I'm from Ohio, but as I was telling the young lady... Um, it, I don't mind talking to a different, you know, recruiter because basically what I'm doing is just doing my research so I could just get a little bit more information. Uh, a friend of mine kind of suggested me to call you guys uh, A&R Weber. All right, guys, I know you guys keep hearing me mispronouncing the name of this company, man. The name of this company is not A&M. It is not A&R. It's not even an A&M. In this name, it is A N Weber. Come on, lockout man, get it right. A N Weber. Um, I went on a website and uh, check check you guys out, and you know I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing on the website. So I thought I'd give you guys a call to get a little bit more information. So you mind if I if uh, if I get some information yeah. about it? Absolutely. Uh, what what type of information are you are uh, you looking at? All right. So let let me start let me start off by asking you this. So you got do you guys uh, sponsor uh, sponsor training for any drivers that don't have CDLs? Um, we um, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We have a, uh, what do you call it, a tuition reimbursement program, mm -hmm. uh, but you would actually have to have gone to the school, and then we would, once you start employment here, we can help you with the, with the tuition. Oh, um, okay, so, so right. you, so. But we're not a, yeah, we're not a school, though. Uh, we can't offer training to a non-CDL person. Oh, okay, okay. But you guys, you guys will reimburse, uh, reimburse the tuition when they come out, though, right? As long as it's an independent school. If you go to like Swift or Celadon, something, somebody like that, we would not be able to. Oh. But if you go to an independent school, yes, we would. Okay. Now, I'm you. You piqued my curiosity on that. Why would you guys not allow? Uh, uh, truck driving schools of that stature? Um, I guess the competition, but oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not really, you know, that's, that's my assumption. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Awesome. Okay. So I know, um, I noticed that you guys have, uh, have terminals, uh, in Tennessee, Texas, um, and South Carolina. Yes. Uh, the and yes. I'm I'm calling you out of the which terminal? I'm calling you out of. Uh, the Tennessee terminal. The Tennessee. Tennessee, ter Tennessee. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, other than other than those particular terminals, what are your higher areas? I mean, how how far out would you guys hire? Sure, we hire from you know, really, all the U.S. Pretty much, um, it's just that um, the Certain terminals are assigned to certain states only. Like oh. the Kankakee terminal would be your assigned terminal, your right. home terminal. Right. Yeah. That's we, what we cover. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You say we cover. Yeah. Uh, no, no problem. We cover the southeastern portion of the state at this terminal. Okay. Okay. So you guys, so. You guys hire all over. What's so you guys will hire from out of Florida then? If I was if I was located in Florida, I, I wouldn't have no problem. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. Okay. Yes. Um, also, um, our main terminal has um, flatbed. We do not. El Paso has, you know, um, certain other criteria that they offer, like flatbed. Um, mm -hmm. Owner operators. Mm -hmm. We here just offer company drivers. Oh, okay. Uh, on a dry van type trailer. Oh, okay, okay. How about um? How about a sign-on bonus? You guys offering a sign-on bonus, and if so, how much? Yeah, you know, we just 
finished with that uh, at the end of September. It was just out for a limited time. It was a five thousand dollar bonus mm-hmm. um, offered a hundred hundred dollars a uh, week, um, and um, it it ended September thirtieth. Oh, okay, okay. So now at at this point in time, there's no sign on bonus. Then at this point in time, yeah. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. Do you guys, uh, for for pre-employment drug testing, do you guys require hair follicles or urine? Um, it's the urinalysis. Okay. Also for pre-employment, you know, before I come in there, let me ask you this: Can I get all of my pre-employment, uh, take all my pre-employment stuff taken care of, like drug testing, uh, like? all the stuff that I would normally do in orientation. Can I get majority of it taken care of before I come to orientation or does it have to be taken care of during orientation? Um, it has to be taken care of during orientation, unfortunately. Okay, okay. What's your guys' policies on, uh, on, on drivers with felons and DW, DWIs or DUIs? Sure. Um, actually, we just had one of those um, up, uh, issues come up earlier uh, this week, actually, um, for uh, alcohol drugs. It is, I want to say it's a three-year um, wait time. But not wait time. Uh, you have to have uh, three years uh, before hire, basically, or thirty six months. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. So, th- would you consider? Would you guys consider yourselves uh, felon friendly? I guess that would be the term. Um. Say that one more time. Uh. Would you consider you guys to be felon friendly? Veteran. No, felon, felon, felon friendly. Felon friendly. Um, let me see. Felony. Oh, we, no, I would say not. Felony theft. (laughs) Um, or on here as, Yeah, that that would throw the application out. Um, it, okay. How long ago was it, though? You know, we kind of take that into an effect. Um, how long it was okay. uh, before okay. you hire, um, and what it was, that sort of thing, uh, would play a part in, in it. Um, we we try to give our our candidates, you know, uh, as much as possible right. uh, to to bring them in. Um, just like uh, we we had an issue, uh, an application came in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we when an application take comes in, we all and there's blotches on it that are you know black marks, basically is what I call them personally mm-hmm. on the application. We mm-hmm. always call the the candidate and ask for more information because sometimes it's it's not just what's on paper. Sometimes there's a story behind it and. Right. You know, depending on what the story is, we go with that, you know. Okay. Okay. What about, um? okay, so if I already have my DOT card, which I do, uh, do I have to turn around and, and get a, and, and take another phy- uh, physical in orientation? Um, It depends uh, how long before it ex- expires. Uh, if there, if it's better, if, if it's good for more than six more months, uh-huh. then you know, you should be good. Okay. But if it expires prior to six months from now and you put in your application, then we would have to do one here um, at our at our clinic. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. So orientation, where, so is the orientation held at each uh, terminal or is it held at at, at one main terminal and then we will be like filled out to where you know we go mm-hmm. versus uh our our home state 
Right, right. Um, the orientation would depend upon the state you live in. Mm-hmm. Um, and since you're from Ohio, you would be going to Illinois oh, okay. in Kankakee. Okay. And they would do everything for you. Okay, awesome. Uh, also in Kankakee, is, is that where... I will be where I get majority of my dispatches from too, or would I get my dispatches from everywhere? No, Kankakee is the main terminal. They distribute they distribute the the loads. They oh. they dispatch our drivers. Okay, awesome. How long is regardless the, of where your home terminal is? Oh, okay. How long is the uh, orientation, and are we paid for that? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, uh, orientation see, in our terminal it's a two day orientation I believe it's throughout um, uh, we we do pay for your meals would be covered your lodging would be covered mm-hmm. um, and at this terminal we, we provide a company vehicle if you live over you know a couple hours away from here we would we would take care of you so you're not stuck at the hotel or at wherever you're lodging at in kankakee is a little bit different because since that's our home terminal mm-hmm. they actually have a dorm where they would put you in um i'm sure they would take care of the meals as well as we do here um and all that is covered at no expense to you during the orientation all right, so being that we will be put up in dorms like colleges, <laughs> will uh, yeah, will, will we have to we have to share that with another potential you know, driver. We we're we're good on our own. Mhm. It's a uh, room uh per per person, I believe. Okay. Okay. So, are we paid for the orientation, and how long is it? Mhm. It's- Yes, it's a hundred dollars per day. It's an average of two days. Okay. So videos, paperwork, and, uh, mm-hmm. go out, videos. go out with a driver to yeah. drive, and all that good stuff, and we get our truck at the end of the at the end of the orientation. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, so since you guys, since you mentioned something about not offering uh, CDLs for non-CDL drivers but when they do come in with their CDLs you guys put them with a put them with a qualified trainer about how how much time that you guys that that y'all trainers have with the company that that will train least, the new guys yeah they have to to become a trainer you would have to be with the company for a year or more Oh, okay, that's very good. That's 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 real good to hear. Uh, yeah. now we, we make sure to put our new drivers, any trainees, they go with um, very um, experienced drivers. So uh, I, we don't put them in. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, go ahead. Sorry. So I I went to the website um, and I noticed that uh, that you guys pay rate is is. Is lightweight awesome? I mean, you guys start uh, regional drivers at forty-seven cent uh, per mile, and OTR drivers at forty-four. My question is: is that is that pay right out of the box, or is that added with incentives? Um, that's not including incentives. Uh, we. Uh, we um that's that's a, a if you have you know over 12 months verifiable experience right um, right if you have under a year verifiable experience then the pay would be you know less yeah i'm seeing that uh for 0 to 12 is 40 40, 40 and a half cent and f- Forty three and a half cent for a uh, regional single. That is still good pay coming in for uh, for new drivers. I'm talking about brand new drivers and not experienced. But now let's get to the experience part. What being that I got four years, which could be verified, going on five. Would I would I be starting at forty seven or would I be starting at a little bit more? 
Um, sure. Four years would be 47. Oh, okay. So I will be starting at 47. Road. Okay. Oh, over the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much would it be if I want to go regional? Because regional is probably the the route that regional. I might be going. All right, we can with over twelve thirteen months of experience, we can start you off at forty nine cents per mile. Okay. Um, we do have um, different insurance packages as well. If you know you were opting to that that pay that that's on here is uh, for the high cost. Okay. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That is, Edible. yeah. That that's uh, that's awesome right there. Okay. So uh, the benefits, man. I mean, you guys got a healthy. You guys got a healthy benefit package here. Uh, I'm curious. We do. We do. Very. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm curious to know, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield medical insurance. How much is that out of my paycheck a week? Sure. Um. For the rate that I provided you with, mm -hmm. uh, employee only coverage would be one fifty. Okay. Uh, family coverage would be one ninety three. Okay. Um, with a copay of forty dollars in network primary care. Okay. Uh, now for vacation, birthday, and holiday pay, we we. We get paid birthdays and holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, of course. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> birthday, uh, uh, yeah, birthday. You get an additional one hundred dollar bonus, uh -huh. and um, that's just because it's your birthday. And then we have um, hundred dollar, uh, hundred dollars additional for uh, holidays. Uh, okay. Giving New Year's Memorial July. Labor Day and Christmas. Okay. Um, down here at the bottom. And, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Christmas is uh, you you are home for Christmas. That's, that's the the only holiday we guarantee home. Okay. Down here at the bottom. Drop, pick up, layover, breakdown, switch out, regional, and unload pay. So that's you know I know I know about regional, layover. I know about breakdown, but we get paid each individually for every drop trailer that we drop for every pickup that we pick up what is a s switch out and we get paid unloading is that unloading that the driver unload or unloading that the at the dock just to be unloaded sure um most of our, our loads are assisted driver assisted um if you do not wish to assist in unloading the, the trailer or you know the load that you take. We um, we can provide a lumper, which is a company that comes out and you know right. helps unload where you don't have to. Um, if you do help, we pay the driver an additional seventy dollars oh, okay. uh, for for the trailer that's dropped. Basically, okay. if you have more than three drops within one one uh, trip uh, we will probably not be able to do a lumper um, and also in some areas the lumper service is not provided so in those cases you know the driver would have to assist um, and again that's a seventy dollar additional okay for the driver okay. if they do decide to to assist Okay. How about uh how about per diem? Is it offered and is it mandatory? It is offered, it is not mandatory. Okay. All right. Cool. You guys do you guys hey, require asking a lot of good questions. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I you're, said. You're you're actually testing me here. <laughs> thank you. Wait, thank what's you. your name again? My oh, name's Shine. Shine, ma'am. Yes. You Shine? You heard me? Hello? Uh oh. I think we got uh I think we got disconnected. So check it out y'all. At this point right here, 
we did get disconnected. I have the slightest idea of what just happened. I mean, the conversation was going good. It was it was going well. I had just a few more questions to go. Uh just needed to know what type of equipment they had and and what is governing that. You know, the the usual, but I I don't know what happened. It just it just went blank. So, I tried to call her back a few times no success i i called the main office again to see if bill i guess that was his name was available and unfortunately he still wasn't available so i just took it as like okay well maybe the i guess it was on the timer i guess i don't know <laughs> i really wish uh i really wish we could have finished out because you know, she did struggle on a few questions that I had for her, and, you know, she she did her best to uh, answer the, the, the questions that I had, but I, I just wish, uh, I just wish we was able to finish out, but all in all, uh, it was, it was still a good call, and I would give you guys my rate, my uh, rating for the call in the next segment. Let's go. All right, all right. Well, well, I, well, I, I tried to call the the Kankakee office and try to get into contact with a recruiter there. Unfortunately, that wasn't successful. I did get in contact with the Tennessee recruiter, but we was in the midst of a conversation and we just the call just abruptly ended. So. I, I don't understand what what could possibly ha happen. I tried to call back and um, no, no such luck. No such luck. Well, what do you guys think of the call uh, as short as it was? <laughs> Give me a second. All right. So what do you guys think of the call? Um, A&M Weber. I mean, the little bit of information that I got for you guys, I mean, they, like I said, they, they are based out of Tennessee or they're based out of Kankakee, Illinois. That's the main terminal. So that's where I will be going to. But other terminals, Tennessee, Texas, and South Carolina, they, they have different, uh, let me bring this up. They have like different regions so the Tennessee region will take care of Alabama Georgia Kentucky Missouri Mississippi North Carolina South Carolina Tennessee and Virginia and Kankakee will probably do Iowa Illinois Indiana Kentucky Mississippi Missouri Ohio Tennessee and Wisconsin so if you're interested in going uh, regional so if you're interested in going regional um, those probably might be the two regions that you guys will be uh, ending up going um, so rate the call man I will probably rate this call as a I'm going to give it a five yeah I'm, I'm going to give this call a five now she was she was uh she was enjoyable she was um she was enjoyable to talk to she answered uh pretty much the questions that she was able to answer uh the five is because we got disconnected abruptly and i wasn't able to connect back with her um i wish i can get you know get some more information for you guys like how much they average a week um uh, what about their home time policy and what type of trucks uh, what type of trucks or equipment that they have but by the sounds of what she said before it sounds like they got like different divisions they uh they do flatbed heavy haul step deck reefer and something that i can't that i can't read <laughs> But uh, if you guys are interested, you know, definitely, you know, look them up. The the link to their website will be in the description and um, and give them a call. Hopefully you will probably have a better 
conversation, I guess, with them. But as of right now, that's pretty much it for this Make the Call video. So thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Sorry for the for the dark background, but I'm kind of like doing it like, you know, where the sun is going down and look like the light on my camera is like dim. It's getting really, really dim. But anyway, anyway, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Yo, get uh, get your suggestions in who you want to call next. I want to thank Lamarck J. Uh, I want to thank Lamarck J. Or Lamarck J. Sixty Four for the suggestion, and uh, hopefully you hopefully you got a little bit of information that I can get out of them. <laughs> hopefully but uh in any case yo don't forget if you guys like content like this man don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more uh for more content like this man yo don't forget the coffee hook a brother up with some coffee i am thirsty right now i'm about to run up in this pilot right quick grab me something to drink and run right back out until next time, y'all, this is Lockout Men. Makes the call, and I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for the suggestion. I appreciate you guys watching. Catch me on the next video. Peace.